Hey, four folk, here's how you use the narrative companion for Sleeping Gods and Tides of Ruin. Whether you're using the browser or installed version of foreteller.gg, go to the game library and find Sleeping Gods. What you see now is the game screen. You can either use the search bar to type the location you want to visit, or you can use the new component feature, which is that purple box with three smaller boxes within it. You can get to this component list by tapping the purple button on the screen or just left to the play button on any other location in the game. To find your location using the search bar, simply tap on it and type the location you'd like to visit. In this case, we're going to go to 43. Otherwise, go to that component button and you'll see a sidebar pop out from the left side. Once you're here, you can tap location and scroll down to find location 43, or you can use the search bar at the top of this to filter specifically for sections labeled 43 or also 143. Many locations in Sleeping Gods and Tides of Ruin start with a keyword check. This means that there will be no narration and no other information other than to make a choice. To make this choice, we're going to tap the signpost button at the bottom. This will pop out asking us if we have a keyword. If we do, we can tap the top option. If we don't, we tap the bottom. In this case, I don't have the keyword. So we go to 43 continued. Now we can see that there's audio to listen to and more choices to make. After listening to that wonderful audio, you'll see that there are still more choices to make in this location. A new addition to the Foreteller app is the addition of bullet points. This allows us to display information like rewards, effects, and other modifications of a game a little more clearly than they were just copy-pasted from the book. So you can see that in this case, for the option turn to 43.1, we need to run back to the ship making a strength check, and if we fail, we're going to lose 3 health. In this case, we're going to say I chose the first option and won that combat, taking me to 43.2. And that's all you need to know to play Sleeping Gods and Tides of Ruin with the Foreteller Narrative Companion. Have fun, Four Folk. Your tabletop, our stage. <laughs>